So this is Overland uh, by Finji, which you know, I like to describe this game as being partway between uh, XCOM and Hitman Go. Um, which, you know, those are two very different games, but this has got, let's see, end our turn. This has got sort of like the, the turn-based tactical elements of XCOM. It's got, you know, you, a, group of, uh, a group of people that you're leveling up over time and you want them to survive. They're kind of, you know, telling their own little story of survival the way that uh, XCOM does. But uh, the way that you handle your moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is is all about you know like your the moves you can make are very constrained. It's all about it's really all about board position and uh, issues like that 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 are you know that they work better with a with kind of um like a board gamey experience. Like this feels very much like a board game. Um, and so it's so it's just it's a very interesting game. It's a it's a, it's a unique game. And I realize she's already carrying something, and he's the one who needs to pick something up, so he should head over there and get that shield. I haven't actually used a shield yet. I always um, just kind of evade zombies. Uh, they're zo zombies. They're not zombies. They're rock aliens? Something like that? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what they are, come to think of it. Um, so we've got a med kit there. I've only got room for the one med kit. Uh, I'd like to search this thing over here, though, and find out what it is before we take off. So the way it works, you know, I'm just gonna try a shield. So that's what a shield does. All right. Yeah, so I can do that forever, it <laughs> looks like, or I could kill this creature. <gasps> now what happens is when you kill a creature, oh, usually other creatures will be summoned, but right now it's raining, uh, and so that didn't happen. Changing things in your inventory takes no time at all, so that kind of plays into your strategy a lot. Uh, so right now I'm under no threat at all, so I can basically go through here, find whatever items I want to find, and I think it's basically just, I'm going to keep this stick. I'm going to get in this car and we're going to take off. So start the car, and somebody with movement points left can leave. So the game is, it's structured a lot like Oregon Trail, where uh, you're traveling you know, across this, uh, this vast map and you're stopping at different points uh, to have little you know, encounters and adventures. And each of these encounters gives you an opportunity to replenish vital resources, particularly gasoline. But you're in big trouble if you can't keep enough gasoline in your car. Um, and uh, and to, you know, get things that help you, like you know, other, other survivors, uh, Stuff like that. So let's let's see what we want to do. So step her out here. We will drop her first aid kit in case. Uh, yeah, she wants that back. Go over here. Uh, so uh, Zarnathian just came into the room and he says that he's frustrated because he wants to play this game, but it's actually not available to buy. Uh, so yeah, I um, I don't remember what exactly I did uh, to be able to buy this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure I signed up for uh, something, like, a, you know, basically I got an email that said, hey, this game's ready, you should go buy it, and I was like, okay, and I did, and uh, that's how that went, so, okay, so I just, I love that you can sort of sneak through cars to get far away from zombies, not zombies, what are these, are these rock, rock monsters? I think they're some kind of rock monster, uh, I don't know why the world's been taken over by rock monsters, uh, they might be aliens, uh, they might be not? I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, here's something I should probably do, though, which is, well, should I kill this guy? Maybe I should not kill this guy. Um, hmm, well, I, won't, I won't be able to successfully kill him this turn. It says attack, which means I'll throw the rock at him. It'll hurt him, but it won't hurt him that much. And I've forgotten how many hits these guys take. I think it's two. But eh, the main thing I want to come out of here with is gas. Uh, so I, I came to this spot because it had a car, and I thought, oh, maybe this will be a better car. It is not a better car. It is the same, the same car. Um, so that's disappointing. Uh, so one thing I could do, though, is get in the car. So it doesn't cost gasoline to drive cars around. Oh, do I not have... Oh, I don't have any movement points left. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, it doesn't cost gas to drive them around on the map. 
It just costs gas to uh, oh, let's see here um, to drive on the on the overland map. So okay, so everyone's going after her because this guy is effectively hidden, which is great. Uh, once this guy's on the road, I might ram him with this car since his car is essentially disposable as far as I'm concerned. So it's still raining, so I, I can kill these guys without summoning any of their friends. Which basically feels like I'm playing on easy mode right now. Hey there, uh, Cerebral Amesis. Or Brain Vomit, as we call him. Um, yeah, so I'll see if this guy will step into the road. If he'll step into the road, that'll be perfect for me. And then I'll be able to siphon the gas. Um, yeah, that'll do. So, vehicles. Oh, wait, I hadn't noticed this thing had corrugated metal on it, but I don't think that actually gives it any kind of advantage. Um, Alright, so what we want to do is siphon the gasoline out of this guy and put it into that guy before we take off. So, I think we'll get uh, Robbie started on that. Meanwhile, we have one more vehicle to search over here, and no more threats, so... We'll head that direction. Yeah, I think my knife's better. You keep siphoning. All right, head over here. Fill up the tank. It takes a while to siphon gas out, but uh, it's instant to put all the gas in. So that's that's convenient. So. Here. Can't get in yet. Uh, she's gonna go pick up her med kit she was carrying around. And then we're gonna get in. Everybody get in the car. And let's drive away. Yeah, so the, the very constrained turns are really interesting. They make, them, uh, they make this game feel, like I said, a lot, a lot like a board game. You feel like, you know, you're managing this very, very tight um, set of options each time you're, each time you're making a move. Okay, so we got Rock Monster over there, potential recruit up here. So Robbie is charismatic, which means she's good for recruiting. I've never had someone turn down being recruited, though, so I'm not sure... I'm not sure if that's a thing. Okay, so it is not raining right now. Which means when I kill this guy, he makes noise and he summons a friend. So there's no such thing as killing all the enemies uh, most of the time. When, uh, yeah, this person's running around with a rock. Wow, what a great recruit. So pleased to have found you. Um, yeah, so when it so in those early maps when it was raining, I could kill the monsters and get away and everything was fine. Um, man, we got a person that sure would have been nice if we could have found some gas or something. But yeah, most of the time, uh, especially late in the game, as you kill monsters, more and more monsters show up. Like, the, the numbers actually get higher and higher. Uh, which, you know, basically means you're never here to defeat the enemies. You're always here to just get what you can and escape. One feature I really love, if the person outside the car has got no movement points left, which are, you know, indicated by the little ticks here, someone inside the car can grab them and pull them in. Now, there's no animation for that. Uh, I'm hoping they have one eventually, though, because... It'll really add, add to the drama. It's unnecessary, which is why, you know, it wouldn't be in the game at this stage, but I hope they do eventually add an animation for it. Hey there, Fratuz. Okay, so I've got mm, enough-ish gas, but whenever I have gas as an option, I always go for it. Um, not always. Sometimes there's something better, but usually gas wins out. Because if you run out of gas, you get stuck in a, you know, you're, you're sort of stuck by the side of the road, in a terrible situation, and uh, nobody wants to be there. So, um, well, let's send the armed guy over here. And, oh, she's armed too, actually. Send her up 
here. So I can kind of expect to find a lot of gas. So I'm going to send her out here, just in case. Um, we get some trouble. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, well. No, yeah, this is the only guy who can threaten me right now, so let's, let's see how it goes. Yes, for twos, this game is highly nifty. Kill that guy. Another guy shows up down there, but that's tolerable. Um, let's go where I'm close to another weapon. So she can afford to search. Okay, there's some gas. A lot of gas, actually. Let's go over here. This dude, you should pick up some gas, too. He's got to leave his knife behind, though, so I'm hoping I'll have time to go back and get that. He's gonna fill up that So you hear that rumbling sound, that hole down there is gonna eventually generate an enemy. So I need to be prepared for that. Okay, so let's send him back for his knife. Let's have her arm herself. Let's have her fill up the tank. Oh, she's still got some gas left. Which is not a bad thing, having extra gas, but you have to... Oh, there we go. So she's got this. Okay, so what we're going to do is... The woman with the gas is going to pick up more gas. They stack together, which is nice. So he's going to be ready to escape. This guy's going to grab his knife and be ready to escape. And that's everything I can do this turn. I want somebody to go grab that thing, though. But ending your turn next to... You know what? I've already got one of those. Ending your turn next to one of these enemies is usually a bad move. So I think I'll do stand here. Um, well, let's, okay, let's damage this guy. Maybe that means he'll come towards her. And he'll be able to grab the, uh, yes, that's what happened. Okay, so, he can come over here. Oh, crap, I got to step between my knife and my, ah. Okay, look, you can always undo the move you just made, um, which is good, so. Everybody's, she's the one that I want to actually have carrying this thing. And you know, she can get there. This guy can't reach anybody in one turn, so she can pick that up. He can hop into the car. And we're good for this turn. All right, he's coming after her again, but she's gonna hop into the car. Then, Maricela, I'm gonna drive us out. Uh, Lord Fortis, there is a, um, a bottle of gas item that you can find. Um, I have not tried to set it on fire. I think that sounds like it's theoretically possible. They do have like campfires and things. Um, I think if you just throw it without setting it on fire, it does it does just normal bottle damage. So yeah, I'd be really interested in seeing how that goes. All right, so I've got more gas than I know what to do with right now. It might be worth it for me to try to get something, except that I really, I don't know. I think this actually might be the better call just because I'll spend a lot of gas going here and I don't have a lot of cargo space. Like I don't actually need very much, so. I think we're going to go to the gas area. Probably end up overloaded on gas, but uh, there were things. Alright, so let's have people... Oh, wait, I don't want to go this way. Undo! I want to go over there. So first, we'll step out. 
drop our gas, come over here. Same deal. Step out. We will drop our med kit and go here. This guy has to take two moves to attack me, so I'm safe for the moment. And a flammable bot. Okay, you know what? Let's try that theory. Let's send her over here if we can. Um, yeah, see how that goes. And he will step over here and get ready to fight. Oh, wait, oh there's a flammable bottle there, too. All right, cool. So, he can murder this. And she will head up here. She will search. Looks like, oh, found more gas. Cool. Um, I guess she'll head back this way. He's got one more move. Yeah, we're going to test out this Molotov theory. Okay, let's just uh, store that gas. Step out again. Oh crap! I forgot to. I was. I meant to pick up a bottle for that guy, but <gasps> we'll just murder that instead. She will come over here. Okay, yeah, she can make a Molotov. That's pretty sweet. Let's find out what this Molotov is good for. Man, we are going to have so much gas. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Alright. Kill that. how far away I want to be to throw a Molotov. Let's try it. Okay, so it, it sets one square on fire, which fire can spread in, like, dry grass and stuff. Um, but it does enough damage to kill any one creature, so that's, that's really good to know. that up. I think we're going to leave some gas behind. We got more than we need. Let's see, what do I have in here? Okay, we've already got a first aid kit. We, I mean, we. I usually don't get my people wounded uh, very often, so I probably don't need to worry too much about that first aid kit. So we'll run her over here. Now, the knife's only got one more use anyway, though. Yeah, let's grab the first aid kit. And you pull her into the car. Step the engine. Get out. All right, so now we're at the end of this section. Time for a boss battle. There's tons of gas everywhere. Um, all right, so somebody who does not have gas. Uh -huh. um, get out. This makes a ton of noise. But we got to make rooms. we got to push at least two of these. So 
So let's fill this up. And then Robbie. Can I search this. It's a stick. Okay. Oh, interesting. So she could push this one more step and that would give the car the ability to get out. And it would put her diagonal from any monsters. So that seems like the right move. Dewey can replenish his gas. Get ready to hop into the car. I don't know if there's much value in taking that guy out, actually, because I think we can all... Actually, what has value is being armed and standing right here, in case this guy tries to block her path. She wants to run back to the car. There's a bunch of these guys coming. Okay, kill that. Get in the car. So he could pull her in. Yeah, I'm trying to think of. All right, so if she stands. Here, nobody can get her, but... Wait, she's got a stick. She's got oh, only one move. So, actually, I think we're going to play this board game style. Which is one step out of anybody's uh, reach. Start here. Alright, so kill that guy. Step into his space. Pick up the med kit. Start the car, drive one, pull her in, and she gets in of her own accord. She's like, move over, I'm driving. And then, we escape. So this is why I compare the game to like Hitman Go or Lara Croft Go, because it, it, it's just all about, like, you, you got this limited number of moves, and you're trying to see what exactly you can get done with the resources that you have. So, okay, I've got ton of, tons of fuel. There might be a better car here. So that's actually something uh, that could be valuable. Let's see what they got. Okay, looks promising, but vans often have very little... Um, cargo space. They just have lots of person space. Right now I've got all this gas. But they might have a lot of uh, room for gas too, so let's send Dewey over there to check it out. Hey, I found a van. It's got five slots for people, so we could go on a recruiting binge. We'd want to siphon all this gas out though if we do. Um, these are exploding things, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure what makes them explode, but they're making me nervous. The van is the main thing I think we want, so I think we can... I don't mind ignoring some of this stuff that's over here. This guy is trouble, though. I think... Okay, I think what we probably want is for somebody to step out and grab a rock. You? Be ready with that rock if you need to get it. And then you. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we could step over here. See what's in this container. Oh, a shield. Potentially useful.
All right. I think these things take two hits. I can't promise that they take two hits, but I think they do. So I think if I switch to this, hit this guy, and then, yeah. I can kill him with the rock. Rocks are nice because they uh, stick around. Pick up the gas. He's got no moves left. She has a move. So she could just shove this guy. We'll make him come back later. But let's do this. Shove him. Wait, who's got moves left? Oh, I think we're all just standing on things. That's why I turned in turn white. Uh, yeah, for twos. I think you're right. The, 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 the visual style of this game does sort of remind me of Massive Chalice. Alright, so step here. You step here. Murder that. It's causing way too many problems. You fill that up with gas. And then... Okay, you can't get in yet. Might as well carry that around. So, I just... No matter what, we gotta siphon gas out of here, but... I'm gonna see what... Oh! Big, scary guy. Okay. I think we should murder that as soon as we can. So let's drop our gas. Get a rock. Kill that. I think this person should get in the car. Yeah, see, no storage space, but room for people. Um, I like people, though. People are cool. Let's step him over here. Let's start this van. And move it closer. So that we can start with the siphoning. Alright. I don't think this guy can attack me diagonally. I'm pretty sure he can't. This is going to be a close one. Oh, what? No, no. What she should have done is pick up a rock, throw it at him. Then moved. <laughs> nice move, everybody. I think we're making tons of noise, but... Will my turn continue? Oh, there we go. That guy is just ready to attack my car. So let's move the car up slightly. Let's siphon some more gas. His can is full. So we're going to siphon as much out as we can. Let's turn the engine off. This guy... Okay, this is starting to look bad. Let's, uh... The one thing you can do is set fires. I don't know if that's really going to help me that much, though. Could head over here so that she can do a little bit more siphoning before we're forced to leave. We'll be leaving without a med kit. Um, maybe that's fine. Like, we haven't needed it yet.
Okay, nobody's threatening me right now. Let's siphon. Okay, next turn we might be in trouble. So we'll siphon a little bit more. Okay, she's got a full tank. Let's pull her in. Wait, what? How was she? Oh, there was also a tank on the ground. No, no, no. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Dewey, I'm gonna pull her in. I don't remember why we left that on the ground, but Marcella's gonna pick that up, get back in the car. And then Dewey, how do we? How did she end up holding? Ah, whatever. Getting out of here. We got enough gas now. If we need more supplies, we can stop somewhere for more supplies. Okay, so... Okay, see, this is why we save a bunch of gas. There's something fancy down here. We're gonna go get it. It's gonna cost us a bunch of gas, but we got it to spare. Okay, looks like this is one without a bunch of monsters, so that's good. Robbie, I'm gonna get out. Fill it up with her one gas. I'm pretty sure that standing here is okay, but we'll find out. I think this is already full, so Marcella is just gonna hold on to her gas, I guess. Okay, yeah, so these, that thing did not blow up. That was good. She's gonna go over here. She's gonna go over there. She's got a shield? Alright. Let's drop that so we can go exploring. Hey, Dan31. Oh, and Drac. Okay, backpack. Now he's got two slots. That'll be very helpful, especially if we're in a van. Don't have a lot of storage space. So now he can be the one who carries the gas. She's got her, sh her metal shield. Which means, it, when you got metal tools, it means they can last forever. Air gun. Cool. And he can probably grab a bottle. Yeah, he could actually run around making a fire and then uh, using it to set a Molotov. So let's get in the car. And since we can, let's pull her in. Start the car, get out. So, uh, Dan31, we are playing the game Overland. Oh good, another person. I think I've still got enough gas for it. This is uh, a small group of people traveling across the country uh, from one little tiny map to the next, uh, trying to keep collect enough gas so they can keep moving, trying to rescue new people, keep themselves equipped. Oh look, it's a doggy! It's a doggy, everybody. Let's go get our little doggy friend. Uh, was it Robbie that was the charismatic one? Yeah. We have floating rocks. Not sure why. So let's head out with her. Hey, doggy. And then Dewey. gas in that car. And 
Maricela. Could try to scavenge down there. There's a monster in the way. Also, one thing that is frustrating is the fact that I can't seem to do much about the car UI. Okay, let's see where this guy goes. Let's see if he gives me some freedom of movement after he moves. Let's also drop the flare gun so we can scavenge. Uh, enter. Hey, dog! Okay, he did what I thought he might do, which was go in an annoying place. But, let's still see what's over here. Alright. He doesn't really need a Molotov to hit this guy. Actually, the dog's got a rock. Can we invite the dog? What if we name you Batch? Why would you name a dog Batch? That's weird. Okay, leave the rock there. Batch, go search. Got another bottle. This guy can use a rock to fight that. And a worse shield. Well, I don't want a worse shield. I like better shields. Uh... Drac asks what's next to the fire. Uh, these floating rocks? They're magical floating rocks. Uh, we don't know why they're floating rocks. This world is a scary and strange place. What do we have? A stick. That's not as good as the thing I wanted to get. Um, all right, so let's grab this rock, murder this thing. <laughs> And it's raining, so it didn't call any reinforcements. That's nice. And Batch has got his little Molotov. Uh, who are we missing? You. Get in the car. Enter. Alright. So you are going to get in the car. You are going to pick up your flare gun, get close to the car, well, you want a sec. You're going to get in the car. I wonder if the dog can pull people into the car. I hope so. No! No! I love that you undo one turn, because I thought I was controlling Maricela, but I was controlling Robbie. Okay, so now, let's have Dewey pull her into the car, and now Robbie start the car and get us out of here. So now we've got a dog friend! we got a dog. That's what vans are for, is to, is to contain dogs for you. Alright, well, nothing wrong with uh, getting some gas. Let's head over there. Uh, yeah, there are dead bodies lying around. You can't do anything to them, though. They're just uh, there for atmosphere. So yeah, Drac, the monsters don't necessarily... They, they will attack you if they're close to you, but they um, they often uh, just sort of wander around without paying much attention to you. Okay. So. Batch. I don't think Batch... I think... No, no, Batch can defend himself. That's right, he can drop stuff and defend himself by biting guys. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, whoa, I was not expecting to meet somebody here. Unfortunately, they, I think they're about to get attacked by that guy unless I do something about it. So let's, uh, let's do something about it. Step Dewey out. Kind of waste a Molotov on him, but at least he's down. Um, Robbie's my charismatic person. Send her over there. And Maricela. I guess we'll... S well, let's see here. Yeah, I guess we'll step out... here. 
and potentially drop. Let's only go this far in case we want to drop the flare gun and go after that car. Bernice is offering us some company. Okay, so let's drop this. Murder that. Makes a lot of noise, but uh, yeah. Let's invite her. Oh, hey, she's got a backpack too. Nicely done. Wait, ign ignite? Wait, you can, oh, oh, it's the, there's gas on the ground. I thought it was igniting the body. I'm like, I didn't know you could burn bodies in this. Is that a gas can? Yes, it is. He's got a lot of room to pick some stuff up. Um, yeah, let's drop the flare gun. Head over here. Hopefully she's got some time. Let's, uh... Let's see. Let's get in the car with him so he can step out wherever he needs to. She's got a stick. Not that interesting. Over here. And... She's got a shield, which can be useful. I think we'll stay there, though. Okay, guys are starting to show up here. Let's, uh, okay, oh, luckily it's only a little one right there, which is nice. Oh, fuel can. Great. Oh, yeah, of course, this is a gas place, so there's some fuel cans freaking everywhere. So, let's see here. So he's got, let's let her carry that fuel can. He'll get out and grab this guy. Batch. Let's find out what's in here. Hey, dogs carrying more gas. Dogs with gas. You, get, you know, everybody loves a dog with gas. Let's get in there. And yeah, I might as well pull you in. And we're good. She can get pretty close and be safe. Um, he can carry one more thing. Which makes me want him to carry one more thing, but uh, he's not really in range of anything useful. So, let's get him inside. Pull the dog inside. We could back up and get her, probably. No, no, we can't back up. Cars can only go forward. So... Cars have very, very limited paths. So yeah, so Dan, that's the way it works. The um, Each time you kill an enemy, they spawn more. And early on, you have a lot of rainy days where enemies can't hear you. Um, and they don't. And, and maybe you're killing one enemy spawns one more enemy and it's pretty stable. But um, this late in the game, things tend to escalate. So you kill one guy and then two guys show up. Hmm. I'm kind of inclined to, to skip this. We've got, well, we've, got, we've got tons of gas. So maybe, I don't know. Qu big question is, okay, we got a van with five characters in it. What are the chances we'll find a better car? Probably kind of slim. At least one that doesn't make us give people up. Uh, I mean, you know, I can leave the dog behind. Whatever. Dogs, you know. Um, I just, I don't think we have room to carry a lot of extra gear, so. But if this is a, if this is a damaged car, we might want a repair kit. Yeah, let's head over to Valentine. Let's see what we want to do. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Um, okay, so do we? 
step out, fill her up. Now you've got space to look for more stuff. Batch. Step out there. Bernice. She can drop that stick. I think we've got somebody headed to every scavenging point. I think I can leave these guys in the car. I guess, I mean, I don't know. Marcella can fuel up a little bit more, I guess, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Alright, so. Oh, a machete. Okay, that's pretty good. Bernice? It's a, a radio. What? Oh, does that like attract enemies? Maybe? I've never used a radio. Arf arf, and he's got a repair kit. Cool. That's what I was hoping to grab. So, I think we're ready to go. This is a pretty easy one. I'm glad we did this, guys. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the wind does. Okay, so here's a question. Do we want to see if there's a better car or spend more gas to get another person? Another person is likely to... I mean, they'd have to replace Batch, right? A better car? I mean, is there some thing that can hold all my people and have storage? I don't know. I'm actually... Okay, I'm curious about the car. Let's see if we can get a better car. For two's votes car, we're on the same side here. Okay, it's got a maximum med kit in there, so that's, uh, that's good. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, everybody's just full up on gear. Okay, let's find out what a radio does. Send her out there. Batch is just here to carry stuff. What we really need to do is assess this car. Find out if we want it. It looks like, I think it's just a three-seater, in which case we'll be leaving a lot of people behind, but maybe we just want to get the, want to get the med kit out of it. Um, Let's just find out, find out what's in these containers. Bottle could be useful. Uh, enter. Let's find out what's in here. Arf arf. Uh, Enter. Got six gas. Yeah, this otherwise it's not very good. So I don't really use shields that much. Of course, let's see. She's got, we got and we got plenty of gas here. Let's see who wants to carry. Right. 
So can I turn on the radio and then do I drop it? Is that what goes on? I'm nervous about this radio thing. Maybe she should just go super far away from everybody else before she uses her radio. And so she's going to siphon some gas out at least. Okay, so let's turn on the radio. Move far away. She's going to siphon gas. Then I think... Dewey is going to be the one who goes and grabs the med kit. Oh wait, no, she was already in there. She'll get out. She's ready to fend this guy off. So let's see what happens. Okay, so everyone's coming after her. Okay, interesting. So you... Oh, we can still attack while holding something. That's cool. Okay, this guy is super dangerous. We're going to murder him. Um, she is going to siphon the rest of the gas move. Dewey is going to... Really? You... Oh. Okay. I get it. I get it why they do the, that switch, but... <sighs> Having her automatically drop her full can and hold her empty can so she can keep siphoning makes some sense, but it's also frustrating when I don't realize that that's what's happening. So, I think they're going to keep moving this way. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I could just set fires wherever I wanted to. Let's get a little closer to the car so I can escape when I need to. And, in turn. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we're turning off the radio. So let's go and get the real gas we want. Step over here. I really hope that guy doesn't attack that thing. That'd be bad for me if he does that. I feel like I should leave the radio on a little bit longer. Ah, dang it! I thought maybe that would make this guy move instead of attacking, but that is not what happened. Well, I've got a med kit. That's good, right? Let's get her into the car. Okay, so because she's injured, she has one less movement point, and Batch can't pull people into cars. So let's get a human in there, pull her into the car. Are you ready to get into the car? Let's get him a step away. All right, so he gets into the car. We'll worry about our injured character when we get to the next stop. Dan, that that's a good idea. I wonder if like leaving a radio 
in a place that's like a trap, like surrounded by fire. It, that, that might really work. I'm not sure. Um, so before we go out here, we should probably... I mean, how much... We've already got a ton of gas. I don't know if we really want to... Well, it doesn't hurt to check. I mean, at the very least, we can replenish the gas that we... Uh, Scott, and we can heal that person. All right, first things first, let's murder that. Um, so, Robbie, you get out. Pick up that bottle and murder that monster. Second thing, Maricela. You get out. We look miserable. Do we? Get out and do something about it. And now she can move a little further. Batch, you can go find out what's over there. And Bernice. A bunch of stuff over here. set that on fire. Just because. Who doesn't love fire? Um, I wonder if I could set the one on fire that it's actually in right now. That would be interesting. Let's go find out what's over here. Probably just gas. Gas everywhere. Yeah, when you stop at a gas place, there's there's just gas. Tons of gas. Uh, we already filled up the car, right? Is it at 100%? No, it's at 17. Okay, okay. Well, let's fill it. Oh, wait. Oh, whatever. Alright, fill her up. Replenish what we had. You can get in. You search a bunch. Make sure there's nothing. Yeah. Nothing amazing. Um, you. Back in the car. Probably really don't need Batch to be carrying the repair kit around, but I don't know. Alright, so she can get down here. Pulled in. Same here. Well, she needs to get in by herself. Well, folks are trying to figure out what uh, wind is for, and, and they suggest it might be for fire propagation. Like, uh, for instance, it could blow this fire into my van. I wonder what happens if those gas cans are sitting in a, a, a in a area that catches on fire. Batch, why won't you drive the car? Okay, fine. Useless dog. Oh, I, wow! I knocked the gas can over and, <laughs> and it turned it into a spill. That's amazing. Oh, there's a question. Can you, uh, Dan asks, can you destroy the burrows before they spawn? I have no idea. I've never even tried that. We'll see if we have an opportunity to. Um, so these backpack areas tend not to have any enemies at all, which is which is nice. So Robbie, I'm gonna drop that shield and head over here. Um, same thing with Dewey. Let's drop that. Head over here. Um,
You're a dog. You're a dog. Bernice is going to step out, use up her fuel. And Marcella will do the same thing, only she won't use it all up, and we're done. Another flare gun. A backpack for somebody else, because I've already got one. Like you, for instance. Why don't you get a backpack? Then you can carry your gas can and your flare gun. You head over here. Dog, just get back in the van. I don't know why you're going out. And enter. Alright, let's see. What's in here? Medical supplies. Okay. We've kind of got too much of that, though. You get in. Uh, Drac, today's afternoon game is uh, I've got uh, Peter Lim coming in here uh, to teach me about uh, Overwatch. So I have uh, never played any Overwatch. Um, and actually, you know what? I think this might be. Yeah, end of the road, good luck. All right, let's head over here. Uh, I've never played Overwatch before, and so, you know, I know some basics, you know, I've got some basic shooter skills, uh, but that's about it. Uh, uh, but Peter has played a bunch of Overwatch on, Overwatch on PC. I got it on PS4. He's got a bunch of uh, experience with Overwatch on PC, so he's gonna be showing me how that works. Um, okay. You know what I have not ever done? Used a flare gun. Uh, both in the game and in real life. So let's, uh, let's see. You. Open this gate. I thought that was going to be noisier. Get our folks with the flare guns ready to go. I assume the flare guns start fires, but they might also do other things. I'm really not sure. I don't know how much damage they do, for instance. She's got a... Yeah, it looks like I can basically target... Okay, I can target enemies, or I can target anything that catches fire. So, like, I could stop the enemies from coming after me by setting that on fire, for instance. Um, or stop him from coming through here. Let's stop aiming, though. Let's, uh... Yeah, I'm probably going to try to just barrel through here. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we need somebody opening these gates. This guy's really dangerous, so... <laughs> All right. I can't. Oh yeah, that's right. I can. It's not. That wasn't her text. Okay. So Bernice, 
Well, let's not pick it. Let's not grab everybody into the car yet, because we don't want. If everybody's in the car, this guy might start attacking the car. Uh, so we want him to be going after her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing special. Okay, so start the car. Let's go up next to him. Pull him in. And then Robbie. You go take over, get out of here. So now we're in the mountains. And unfortunately, I am out of time. So we're, I'm gonna have to come back here later. But check out that game, right? I mean, th th I don't know, this thing's just, it's doing, really interesting stuff that I don't see a whole lot of other games doing. It's, I mean, you see elements of it in other places, but bringing it all together like this, it's pretty, uh, it's, I don't know, it's pretty fascinating. And it's very similar to a game I've always wanted to make, actually, sort of this this idea of just a cross-country road trip. You know, I mean, I, I loved Oregon Trail when I was a kid. I just felt like there's always, there's so much more you could do with that concept of uh, a small band of people trying to survive, uh, you know, uh, this sort of step-by-step -step road trip across the, uh, uh, across the country. Um, and, you know, you see, uh, I've seen, you know, other games starting to spin off from that idea, but, uh, this is, this is one of the better ones I've seen. So, um, so Matthew says he'd buy it if they'd let him. Uh, yeah, so eventually, eventually this, uh, this game is going to be, uh, you know, actually officially done and for sale everywhere. Uh, right now they're still working on it, but I think if I get through the mountains, I think there's like two more sections, um, beyond the mountains. And uh, I, I, I think you're not allowed to go past that. I think they basically they've only made to the mountains. If you if you get to the end of the mountains, they're like to be continued, um, and the game's the game's really not done yet. So, anyway, uh, thank you everybody for being here. I'm gonna quit this game, but it was awesome.